Hello and welcome to another episode of Exploring Careers in Tech. Today I'm joined by Manoj. Uh, he's the CIO for ABSA and he's going to just basically give us uh, a few career advice and tips. Uh, Manoj, can you please just introduce yourself and welcome? Sure. So I'm not the CIO, I'm the CSO, I'm the Chief Security Officer. That's even a lemma. But, <laughs> but, but I have been the CIO for our Africa operations uh, outside of South Africa uh, previously. So you're not wrong. <laughs> interesting, interesting. Yeah, so can you please just tell us uh, how did you get to be a CISO of such a big and major bank uh, institution that you are? Yeah, yeah I think um, it's, it's, uh, it's never a straight path, right? Um, the um, I was I was very fortunate that I had some really good leaders who believed in me mm-hmm. throughout my career, uh, and not only believed in me uh, when they saw that I had the right potential, uh, encouraged me uh, to take on bigger challenges, and I guess I was uh, I was very determined to not let them down. Um, and starting from a junior programmer. Okay, that's how I started. That's your first role. Um, I was a C C plus plus programmer uh, as a start. Uh, I had done my computer engineering before that, so it was it was important for me to um, do two things. I think uh, the first one was when I say something, uh-huh. um, my word is my board. Mm-hmm. Um, if people can trust me um, when I when I give them a deadline or a commitment then they build trust in me. And I think that has been my, um, I guess, uh, modus operandi for my entire career. Mm. That when I give my word, uh, you are I, I, I will do everything I can to make sure that I don't let the people I've given expectations to down um, and not let myself down in the process. So um, from a junior programmer, um, I, uh, I was very fortunate that my leader at that time um, gave me the various opportunities where I could showcase my skill set, but also saw that I was good at. Uh, there was all you know. There's always a divide between what business is saying and what a technologist understands. And, and um, I was I was uh, able to many a times bridge that gap, um, which led me to become a project manager. Made me to lend, start leading a team, um, and and then. Um, my first big break in South Africa was um, when I was asked to uh, become the CIO for the Central Securities Depository of South Africa, straight. Mm. Um, and a lady believed in me. Her name was Monica Singer. She was the CEO. She believed in me. She, I was very young. I think I was maybe 28, 29 years old. Mm. Uh, maybe a bit older. I can't remember. <laughs> Uh, but she believed in me. She believed in uh, giving me an opportunity and taking a chance on a youngster. And I think there's not enough people, leaders, taking a chance on youngsters. Yeah, definitely. And um, if we can get the mindset uh, that age is just a number, because we say that, Mm. but in the workplace, we don't believe it always. Uh, You need to look at the person, their commitment, their skills. Uh, Then age is just a number. I think experience matters. Experience definitely plays a role. But if you don't take chances on youngsters, how will they become experienced? Exactly. Yeah. And and that's why I said I was very fortunate that I had the pleasure of working with very strong leaders. And and most recently in APSA. Um, the board, the group, executives, um, they had faith in me to take a CIO and ask him to um, become a CSO and run the security for the group. It is all about... Now, naturally, I'm not that young, but they still <laughs> took a chance on me. And uh, I am doing everything I can uh, to not let them down, not let myself down, because they took uh, a leap of faith. Interesting. So as I know, like this CISO role is kind of like a new role that uh, just recently emerged. Um, basically, maybe you didn't know, maybe when you started like getting, getting yourself into tech, maybe this role didn't actually exist. So um, how, how would you say like um, you you developed yourself to maybe take new uh, roles and like take that responsibility to have that such a role? Basically? Yeah, I think there's no um, substitute for hard work. Mm. 
and there's no substitute for getting the basics right. Mm. So if you're in the technology field, make sure your technology basics are solid. Then what you do with those fundamentals is you can build on. Mm -hmm. And never be scared of change, um, I, I would say. I think that's been my mantra. If somebody gives a new challenge, I get excited. Even if I don't know it, it gives me an opportunity to learn. Mm -hmm. If you have the mindset that my fundamentals, I have worked hard enough and I know, um, I'm going to always keep a learning or a growth mindset. Uh, and I'm not going to be scared to take on the challenge and then do my very best to overcome that challenge and showcase that I can do it. Then the world is your oyster. So having the basics of technology, if you're a youngster, don't try to skip. Don't try to take, you know, a step, yeah, shortcuts. Because mm -hmm. it might work in the short. That's why it's a shortcut. <laughs> it works in the short period. Mm -hmm. But over time, you know, it catches up to you. Oh, wow. So... Um, what the, the the basics of when you start as a youngster are so critical because you you have the opportunity to make mistakes. Mm. Uh, you can learn so much because your mind is still there. You still have the energy. Mm -hmm. Use that energy to build for your future. But if you use that energy to just do the bare minimum um, and not get yourself ready for the future, then when the opportunities do arrive, um, you won't be, you'll be scared to take them. You won't be able to take them. Or if you do take, take them um, and you've taken shortcuts, <laughs> you know, you're going to struggle. Uh, you kind of for sure. <laughs> <laughs> you get it. Yeah. So I would like to also emphasize on what you mentioned earlier about relationships. Um, like you mentioned that you were given the opportunity by your superiors and the CEO. CEO. Um, so how do you think uh, that's... Uh, kind of helped you, uh, your relationships with people, the people around you kind of helped you elevate to the position that you are right now? We should ask them that. But uh, <laughs> in, in my view, if you, um, if, if you can build trust, mm -hmm. that automatically builds relationships. Um, when the trust is not there, then the relationship is not real, in my opinion. Uh, and trust gets made by actions. Not by words, but by what you do. So if you constantly live up to what you said you would do, excel at what you do, then the person next, you know, the person above you, they, they, they view this. They can see this. And that automatically builds trust for them to give you the bigger opportunities. So a relationship is not about going and having lunch or dinner with the people or talking a lot. It's with your actions that real trust is built, which builds into a real relationship, which often then can lead to better opportunities for you. Nice. Interesting. Um, or maybe just to round this up, right? Uh, what advice would you give maybe someone just to trying to get their foot in and also they are facing challenges like maybe, as we are mentioning about experience, you know, like usually when you go on LinkedIn, they're looking for someone five years experience. I don't know if you uh, went through that at all. Um, how does someone actually end up getting a, a, a job just to start with? Yeah, you know, look, it's, it's very um, competitive in today's world. Uh, it always has been, but I think it's becoming even more competitive now. First of all, don't lose heart. Um, I've always said if somebody doesn't hire me, it's their loss, not mine. <laughs> nice. uh, have that confidence in yourself. And no job is small enough. Mm. I, I always say that. Um, if you feel you should start, you know, with a big role, don't don't think like that. Get into get into the market, get into the job field, even with the smaller jobs if you can. To get into that in, into that uh, circle, basically, mm -hmm. and that's how sometimes you build experience as well. Um, there's no magic mantra there, but I think there are institutions that are looking for good young skills and taking a chance on them. Um, we, run a, we run an academy where we are taking um, kids from 12th grade, giving them three years of education because we saw something in them. Mm -hmm. And then we're employing them as cyber professionals. Mm -hmm. So there are people who are taking chances on youngsters. Look for those people as well. Um, I think there's a lot of jobs which, which, which uh, people don't want to do because they think 
they either can't do or others think this is beneath me. Okay. There's no job that is smooth. Mm. That's what I would say. Okay. Get into the job market, get with the job that is available. Uh, and you will, if you have the right mentality, the right skills, you will automatically grow. But the first hurdle is always the hardest. You're right. Definitely. Thank you very much, Manaj. Thank you. It was a pleasure speaking to you. My pleasure. And make sure you subscribe and uh, tune in to the next one.